Next question is from Jay Muscle. What do your wives' training programs look like right now? I'm sure they're swamped with kids at home, and I would love to hear how each of them trains now versus as they versus as they normally do. Oh boy. Mm. Well, mine's doing uh, aesthetic right now, actually. Like also, Katrina's doing right yeah, now. Yeah, so she's she's really enjoying that. And we do have the setup, uh, thankfully, through our PRX uh, fold-out um, squat rack and dumbbells. And so, I mean, it's it's a minimal uh, – we don't have machines, obviously. but So there's some components to that that, you know, we've used machines before for uh, aesthetic. But in terms of those focus sessions, you can replace a lot of that with the barbells and the dumbbells and, uh, you know, get – just as good of a workout out of it so she's been having a really good time with that and and reaping you know a lot of the gains with that so uh, next thing is really just the nutrition piece to to nail down uh for her but uh that's that's been the big focus right now i obviously going into summer i think that's something that uh, a lot of people are, are kind of looking into mm -hmm. as well yeah so Je jessica's pregnant right so we're i'm training her according to how she feels um and she trains herself a lot of the times Usually, what it looks like is uh, full, like compound movements, maybe three to four every other day. So she'll pick maybe three or four compound movements every other day, and then every other day, so the days after, she'll pick three or four isolation movements. And so she's working out about five to six days a week. Uh, you know, one day compound movements, the next day isolation movements, and we're paying close attention to how she feels how she braces her core. Right now, uh, squatting feels really good to her, actually more so than split stance exercises because her belly kind of gets in the way with the split stance type of stuff. Um, incline presses, laying flat on her back, doesn't feel super, super good. Um, Pull-ups uh, don't feel too great because it's it feels she feels like she gets strain in her midsection because it's already stretching out. So we're using the, I have a, a, a squat rack and it's got a cable on the top, so we'll do pull downs or we'll do cable rows. Um, but really just focusing on maintaining strength uh, and muscle so that her metabolism is, is, is amped for, you know, when the baby's born. So Katrina uh, recently just transitioned to MAPS Aesthetic. She finished uh, MAPS Anabolic. But, you know, that's a, what a good week looks like. And I think this person's searching for more of like, you know, I'm not going to tell you like the per the perfect week, right? The perfect week is she's going through maps aesthetic, like literally exactly what's in the program. But mm -hmm. the reality is it looks a lot of times like this, like she may get two lifts in a week. And when she does that, she's been, you know, I've, I've coached her on, you know, if you, if you know, you're not going to get the, the full program instead of just following one of those days when it's designed for four or five or more days, uh, focus on the movements that we we've constantly been working on and practicing. And those are the big lifts. So she, a lot of times may go in and you may see her just do some mobility work, uh, especially since that's fresh in her mind because we just did the prime pro webinar and she followed along with her family and stuff. So she might spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes doing prime pro type of work and then just squat or just deadlift or just overhead press. So I've got her now doing stuff like that, that she probably didn't do that before in the past, you know, the way, way past when we first met, she kind of did her own thing. And then finally I got her into like le legit programming and then she would follow whatever I had going for her. And then maps came along and then she would follow every program to a T then getting pregnant happened. And there was a lot of inconsistency with her training. And so that's when I started talking to her about, listen, the biggest bang for your buck is when you do these big compound lifts. So spend the time doing that. And then the other time of her exercise would be walking. Her and I walk a lot right now. I mean, every day uh, we're putting in at least an hour to two hours of walking together. Sometimes all of that in one shot. Sometimes that broken up in 30, 45 minute bouts. But, uh, you know, we've been really good about, and I've been back to wearing my Fitbit. And so I've been over 10,000 steps every day. So is she, and that's been kind of what we've been hitting as our markers. Like, okay, let's make sure we get enough steps in every day that we're walking enough to hit over 10,000. If we get to the gym and we can lift, we're making sure that we're getting our big compound lifts. And then our eating is adjusted, you know, because we both know that we're not training like we were three, four years ago. Uh, you know, diet is, is, is definitely pulled back on calories. So her and I are only eating, you know, two times, maybe three times in the day. Um, and that's what it looks like. So on a 
inconsistent week, which I would say happens more often. Uh, she's not following aesthetic to a T. She's doing things like that. If it's a great week for her, then she's following the program to a T. Yeah, actually, I mean, you kind of reminded me about a couple things priming wise. Like we've had to do a lot of work uh, on bracing and, and getting proper core connectivity because of uh, – past back problems and back injuries. And so, uh, you know, there's a lot of that that I had to kind of go through and help to kind of coach and, and teach and ritualize uh, because she hated doing any kind of mobility drills, uh, just wants to get into the workout. I know a lot of people can relate to that, but uh, in, in terms of like being able to then uh, prime ahead of time and being able to get into the actual like workouts and go do the workouts to the T uh, required a lot of, of prime work ahead of time with uh, you know, certain techniques, uh, the wall tests uh, for, for one, and then also with the windmill, just really learning to uh, be able to maintain that tension throughout and embrace and support while also rotating the spine and, and getting through movement like that. So that's been like really, uh, you know, a key factor with her improving, being able to build off of that as well. 